Hi, it's Adam with webstarts.com. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add a Spotify follow button to your website using Spotify and WebStarts. Adding a Spotify follow button is perfect if you're, let's say, a musician or you have a band or maybe you're just hosting a podcast on Spotify and you want more people to discover you on that platform. But before we dive in, I'd like to invite you to tap the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on web design, internet marketing, search engine optimization, and similar topics. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is create a webstarts.com account. If you haven't already done that, move on over to webstarts.com just like I have here, and click on the Get Started It's Free button. WebStarts is everything you need to create your very own free website, blog, or online store. So go ahead and click on the Sign Up button and then select a design that you want to start with from any one of these categories. Now all of the, the designs are 100% customizable and can be changed at any time so you can't pick the wrong one. Now I've already selected a design and created an account, so I'm just going to log into my existing account and show you what that looks like. Now, I have several websites in my account. You're probably only going to have one, at least when you start out. So you'll be looking at what we call the dashboard. That's this view here. You can enter the page editor. That's where you're going to be making edits and changes to your pages by hovering over the thumbnail to your website and then clicking Edit Site. You can navigate to the page where you'd like to add that follow button by selecting it from the top left-hand drop-down menu while in the Web Starts page editor. All right, now it's time to move on over to Spotify. You can go to spotify.com and then you can search for an artist. And once you find that artist, go ahead and click on these three dots underneath of their banner and click the copy artist link. From there, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go back to spotify.com, just like this here. And you're gonna wanna scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, click on developers, and then go to docs, and then go to widgets and click on generate. That's going to give you access to a couple of uh, uh, places you could generate widgets. I'm going to select the follow button because that's what we're doing. And then it's here that you're going to paste the artist um, URL. Now, this is perfect if you have a podcast on Spotify or if you're a band or if you're a musician and you want to share your music. So those are some of the use cases that you may not have thought of. Now, there are some other things that you can do here. You can customize your layout and that kind of stuff. Once you're ready, go ahead and just select the code that's provided and then right click and click copy. Move back on over to your Web Starts page editor. Click on the insert tab, HTML code. Agree that you understand that you're inserting HTML code. Then right click and just paste that code into the field provided and click OK. That's going to drop the follow button onto your web page that you can then drag and place wherever you want it to appear on your website. Be sure to click save, that will save and publish your changes. And then you can see what those changes look like by clicking on the view site button. So there you have it. There's my Spotify follow button that I've added to my website using both Spotify and Web Stars. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications and visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website, online store, or blog.